It's nostalgic. I can smell different types of paint and think of different times in my life. I would seriously have to give it like all to graffiti. Like, because if it wasn't for that, I would not be like doing this right now. Me and Adam came into this more blind than anything. We didn't have that much. We only drew two things, and which is that far one, the UCLA, and the one that he's working on right now. So those are the only two that we expected to do. And then Harmony gave us these ideas, and we were like, you know what, that's cool. Like, we're gonna paint these. Like, she has ideas, I know how to paint, he knows how to paint. We're just gonna put it on the wall. I got arrested when I was 18. Right before I went to school, I thought I was gonna blow my chances at art school. I thought I was gonna have a felony, and they dropped it, thankfully. And it just was like, I'm tired of getting caught for this, I'd rather get paid for this. Like, this, it's, you know, it's a craft that is marketable, and I love to do it. And I, I've done it for elementary schools, and just to see people how happy they are when they see it, it's really cool, and just to take it a little bit more seriously. One night, I think, I was with Adam, and he was gonna go out and paint, and I was and I was sleeping at his house, and I was like, "Oh, I'll come with you." And he's like, oh, "Okay, do you, you just want to watch me?" And I was like, "I was like, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll do it." I thought of a name right then and there, and I did it, and I instantly worst thing I've probably not ever, not only have ever done, but I've ever seen, and I instantly just fell in love with it, and. I started just like in my class, like would just draw, wouldn't even do my work, I would just draw letters all day, every single day. It's just awesome to me when you can just see your thing like the night after you painted it and like it's just there on like the 405 or something and there's all these cars going by it and it's just, it's just tight. Once you start looking at it and you know what you're looking at and you can read different tags and things on the wall and who who is and who does the most. And just the amount of stories it tells about that person and like how they paint and you don't even know who they are. It's, I don't know, it's just a different thing to be part of. Yeah. The misconception is that, oh, well, all like people that do graffiti are like bad people, but it's, I feel like it's the same aspect in, in anything. Like there's bad football players, there's bad baseball players, there's bad gymnasts, like, like bad people. Graffiti is more of a, uh, it is, it is, I'm, I don't want to say malicious, but it, it is definitely more, uh, it's messed up. But at the end of the day, would, there's a wall that's getting tagged on regardless. Would you want something that's nice there? Or would you want something that sucks and makes the neighborhood look like crap? I just think that people need to look deeper into it instead of just like what they want to see. But that's, that's with anything too.